Kia ora koutou and welcome to Jim Cook Park. This is Amanda from the Greater Wellington Regional Council and you're right beside the Waikanae Awa. And in case you're wondering, this is a model that Amanda has brought along especially to demonstrate how a catchment works. What can it show us Amanda? So this catchment um, model is great for showing us the different kinds of threats. So um, you can see some of them around us anyway. Up behind us you can see there's some forestry blocks, um, so forestry and farms and different kinds of land use, that's one of the major threats to the river um, and it influences what happens sort of in the upper catchment happens all the way through the system. Some of the other threats that you can see there's some um, pest plants, so we get a lot of pest animals and plants on the river and they compete with our native species um, and some of them even eat our native species so um, that's also another threat to the river. Mm, with these weeds and different land uses, you can see it's really different from that natural hour that we saw in the upper catchment yesterday. So you've put some dirt on the model here. I guess that's going to simulate um, what happens if, say, a forest is cut down and you've got exposed ground, some sediment. Where's that sediment going to end up? Well, shall we have a look yeah. and find out? So when it rains in the upper catchment, that rain will pick up all of the sediment um, even off the sides so from not just the sediment in the, the streams um, but on the edge and it flows down into those river channels and then down all the way through the catchment past our little village and out to sea um, and our little village is actually another threat so humans like to live close to the river um, so that has uh, threats from stormwater and, and other kind of discharges but it also has uh, threats to people because um, if you live next to the river and a river floods well we'll find out a bit more about that later. Yeah and you can see how the water rushes down the slope so if we wanted to slow that, what could be a flood, what would we do? Well, one of the ways to slow the, the, the water down is um, to actually have wetlands. So unfortunately, we've lost a lot of our wetlands in New Zealand. Um, they were cleared and drained um, mainly for farming and forestry. Um, but if we uh, start to put some of those wetlands back, like some farmers and some catchments or care groups are doing, um, we've got some sphagnum moss here to simulate those, those wetlands you'll notice a difference. So it rains again in our upper catchment and instead of rushing straight through the system these wetlands act as a sort of a, an absorbent uh, area and they, they actually hold a lot of that moisture but not only do they hold the moisture they hold some of the sediment um, and a lot of the other runoff uh, and nutrients that come from the, the farms or the forestry blocks. So like natural sponges, filters and preventing that big rush of water. Hey, what a neat model. Thanks for showing us that, Amanda. No worries.